Hello and welcome back to Aviation IV, go where you feel the most alive. I am Shantanu and today we are dealing with aircraft controlling surfaces. So fasten your seat belts and let's get started. Before knowing anything about the controlling surfaces, the two elementary knowledge which we should have is first of all, forces on an aircraft which are thrust, drag, lift and weight and second part is axis of rotation of an aircraft which are vertical axis, longitudinal axis and transverse axis. First one, forces on an aircraft in air. I have used the word horizontal because in this case all the forces are perpendicular in direction. There is an, another case in which when the aircraft is tilted and the, some forces are not perpendicular to the aircraft body. So the forces which we could see is lift, weight thrust and drag flight conditions now if we have lift more than weight then its effect is plane rises meaning if this force is greater than this force then we have a greater force on this end then the plane will rise in the same way if weight is greater than lift plane falls if this force is greater than the lifting force then automatically the plane will fall down if drag is greater than thrust meaning if the force towards backward is greater than the force towards the front of the aircraft or the force moving the aircraft in the front is lesser than this then the plane slows down if thrust is greater than drag meaning if this force is more than this then the plane will accelerate in the direction of propagation. First, lift. It is a force that acts at right angle to the direction of motion of the aircraft upward through the air. Lift is created by the pressure difference above and below the wings. Now you can refer to this diagram here. Airplane wings are shaped to make air move faster over the top of the wing meaning this part of the wing is shaped in such a manner that the air molecules will move faster than the air molecules moving here below the wing. When air moves faster the pressure of air decreases. This is the proven phenomena wherever there is an increase in pressure there will be a decrease in the velocity of that particular particle so the pressure on the top of the wing is less than the pressure on the bottom of the wing this difference in pressure creates a force on the wing that lifts the wing up into the air so when the pressure in this part decreases the pressure in this part increases which is the main cause of lifting the wing up in the air. Second, weight. It is a force caused by the center of gravity of an aircraft acting downward. Weight is actually the whole mass of this aircraft which actually acts from the center of gravity towards down. Third, thrust. It is a force that propels an aircraft towards the direction of motion. Thrust is actually generated by the engines which propels the aircraft in the direction of motion or which brings the aircraft forward. Drag It is a force that acts opposite to the direction of motion. Actually drag is nothing but a resistance to thrust. So whatever resistance is created is termed as drag. Now here we have forces on an aircraft in air when the aircraft is climbing. So 
previously i was using the word horizontal but when the aircraft climbs the forces changes and then changes in this way so if you want me to explain this please comment down below i'll make a separate video of this explanation because it it's a quite complex uh, balancing of forces so i'll do it in a separate video please comment down below so now we are done with the first elementary part which was the forces on an aircraft or second elementary part is axis of rotation of an aircraft an aircraft is controlled by controlling its motion in the given three axes now the first axis is vertical axis which is this z axis governing the yaw motion now assume that this aircraft is pivoted at this point so the only motion available with this aircraft is if we try to turn the nose this side the tail will go this side or if you try to turn the nose this way the tail will come this way the second is the longitudinal axis governing the roll motion this is the longitudinal axis which governs the roll motion assume that the aircraft is pivoted from the nose and from the tail so the only motion available along this axis will be the roll motion meaning if you try to bring the tail sorry if you try to bring the wings down this side the wings will go up this side or vice versa the third axis is transverse axis covering the pitch motion this is a transverse axis pivot the aircraft about the wings here and here the only motion available is pitch motion if you try to bring the nose down the tail will go up or if you try to bring the tail down the nose will go up as we generally observe that the road transport vehicles take left or right turns but this is actually not possible with the aircraft aircraft cannot take sharp left or or right starboard turns in actual it actually performs banking turns by the help of combined effect governed by rolling yawing and pitching now this image clearly defines the motions along the three axes a roll motion along the longitudinal axis yaw motion along the vertical axis and the pitch motion along the transverse axis now look into this aircraft this assumes to be taking a right turn so we could find that this aircraft is rolled in a manner um, has brought this wing down and this wing up yawing towards right and maybe pitching up and down according to the trajectory so after controlling the motion in all three direction then only it's going to take some turn hope you are getting the point clear so now we have the aircraft control surfaces in this picture you could see these are the wings this is the vertical stabilizer and this is the horizontal stabilizer all the parts related to control the aircraft motion in the air are situated either on the wings or on the vertical or horizontal stabilizer so these are further divided into two parts named as primary control surfaces or secondary control surfaces in primary we have aileron placed here on both the ends elevator placed here on the horizontal stabilizer and rudder placed here on the vertical stabilizer in secondary control surfaces we have flaps placed here slats here 
and the spoiler here. So now let's get into the some detailed explanation of the control surfaces. Aircraft primary control surfaces. A role governed by ailerons. The roll axis or the longitudinal axis has its origin at the center of gravity and is directed forward. Origin from center of gravity and directed forward. Parallel to the fuselage reference line. Motion about this axis is called roll. An angular displacement about this axis is called bank. The positive rolling motion lifts the left wing and lowers the right wing. The pilot rolls by increasing the lift on one wing and decreasing it on the another. This changes the bank angle. The ailerons are the primary control of bank. The ailerons are the primary control for banking of aircraft on either side. Either this will go down or this will go down. So in this picture, left aileron down, right one up causes a roll to the right, left one down. Now assume this to be left from the pilot's view. So left aileron down, right one up causes a roll to right, causes a roll to right, this side, which means the pressure of air this side has increased and this side it's decreased by the motion of the ailerons. Left aileron up, right one down causes a roll to the left. Left aileron up, this one up, this one down causes a roll on the left. yaw governed by rudder. The yaw axis has its origin at the center of gravity and is directed towards the bottom of the aircraft. Axis is the center of gravity and directed downwards. Perpendicular to the wings and to the fuselage reference line. Motion about this axis is called yaw. A positive yawing motion moves the nose of the aircraft to the right. The rudder is the primary control of yaw. A rudder is the primary control of yaw. So in this picture, this is an enlarged image of the rudder. So when we move the rudder this side, a higher air pressure is created this side, which pushes the aircraft from this side, causing the nose to take a left turn. In this picture, enlarged view is given here. When the rudder is moved this way, creating a higher air pressure this way, which pushes the aircraft from this side, causing the nose to turn right or this way. Pitch governed by elevators. The pitch axis, also called transverse or lateral axis, has its origin at the center of the gravity and is directed to the right parallel to a line drawn from the wingtip to wingtip. It starts origin here and is directed towards the wings. Either you can take it this way or you can also take it this way. A positive pitching motion raises the nose of the aircraft and lowers the tail. The elevators are the primary control of pitch. Elevators are the primary control of pitch. In this image, when you put the elevators down, a higher air pressure pushes it up, causing the nose to go down. And if we move the elevators up this way, a higher pressure pushes from upward on the elevator, causing the nose to get After primary control surfaces, we have some secondary control surfaces. These are generally to improve the motion of the aircraft. Now first we have slats. 
present on the leading edge of the wing, both the sides. Slats are extendable, high lift devices on the leading edge of the wings of some fixed wing aircrafts. Their purpose is to increase lift during low speed operations such as takeoff, initial climb, approach, and landing. Flaps present on the trailing edge, both the sides. Flaps are usually mounted on the wing trailing edge of the fixed wing aircraft. The purpose of flaps is to generate more lift at slower speed. When extended further, flaps also generate more drag, which slows the airplane down much faster. Spoilers present here. The primary purpose of this the primary purpose of ground spoilers is to maximize wheel brake efficiency by spoiling or dumping the lift generated by the wings and thus forcing the full weight of the aircraft onto the landing gear. The spoiler panels also help slow the aircraft by producing aerodynamic drag. Hope you have gained some good knowledge of the controlling surfaces. Thank you. Do visit our website www.avationnavy.com You can directly connect to us at our LinkedIn page of Anvesha Pal and Shantanu Kaur. Do like, share and subscribe our work because your support is our motivation. Thank you.